This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treat and Sakurako, monthly subscription boxes filled to the brim with exciting and delicious Japanese snacks. Want to know more? Follow the links in the description or the pinned comment. And remember to use the code CATSUNNY to get a $5 discount on your first purchase. Thank you so much to Tokyo Treat and Sakurako for sponsoring this video. Welcome back to the channel, Chooms. We are finishing up Cyberpunk Edge Runners. This is episode 10, titled My Moon, My Man. So the finale, we're here. We have, we have we've predicted it several times that uh, it's not going to be a happy ending. Most of the characters are most likely going to die. So we're just preparing ourselves for tragedy here. Is there anything you want to say before we start? No. Nope. All right. Uh, then subscribe, like, comment, check out Patreon if you want to support us. Links in the description. Uh, pin comment. We also have a merch store. Check that one out as well. And that's it. Sorry, it's just the baby alarm going off because the little one is sleeping. And hopefully... And they were just on a moped by, so... It's very noisy. Yes. Cyberpunk Edge Runners, episode 10, the finale. Here we go. So many dead. Call for backup! He's on the move! Headed straight for Night City! Well, where now? Oh, okay. Militech still on their tail. Jesus! Men's are starting to wear off faster and faster! Hey, folks! Militech... Whoa! Shake him off! David's gotta take five! What? Right now? What? <laughs> Hold down the front, okay? Yes, ma'am! You leave him to me! Whoa! <laughs> 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 He is one hell of a driver. <laughs> and that vehicle that they got is um, pretty sturdy. Mm -hmm. This will be hell for us to cover up. This is exactly what we deserve for trusting a fixer with our investment. Hmm. We estimate a 74% chance that this is his destination. Here? He should have no knowledge of our direct involvement. Well, fuck. <laughs> well, fuck. Arasaka counter intel extending an invitation to a lowly fixer like me. Quite the promotion, wouldn't you say? Unheard of, really. Even this leap I consider only a single step in my ascent. Night City does not reward complacency. You think way too much of yourself, dude. Didn't think it possible, but he's dipping in and out of cyberpsychosis. If David comes through without going full, he's gunning for us next. I know it. But it's nothing Arasaka's recovery team can't clean up, I'm sure. Maybe. But not about the chance it did my part, so I'm skipping town. Not quite. I'm en route to deliver the runner girl to Arasaka. I'll need you as backup. Meet me at the drop point. You'll get your gut then. Hmm. What am I doing? Yeah. yeah. You're done. Oh, this is kind of reminiscent of uh, Maine, just before he went to... Um... Yeah, that's right, yeah. Wow! All those innocent people are fucking... By the time you hit the last vial, understand this. Whatever's still left of you, Davy, will slingshot the other way. And that was... Okay, almost the last one. A way to deal with them. <laughs> Just <laughs> rolling down the street. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you have to work hard and rise through the ranks. You've got this, D. Smartest person I know. You're right, Mom. I know I can. I'll do my best. Oh, you. Fuck. You know he's tripping now. Mm. David's meds. Don't think they're gonna work anymore. Mm. Yeah. So what's the plan? Nothing's changed. We knock on Sokka's door. All right, and she's just willing to see this to the end. 
Not doing any more work for you. Such a shame. <laughs> My contract stipulates I get rid of anyone who knows about the cyber skeleton. Even you. <laughs> After her! Coming up on the tower! Damn! What the hell do we do now? Don't ask me! I don't fucking know! I wish uh, Kiwi had turned a little earlier. <laughs> Talking about crazy, like she's been absolutely crazy through this entire thing. Unhinged. <laughs> Unhinged. But that's just the way she is, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she hasn't gone cyber sight or anything. That's just yeah. It's just her default state. <laughs> We're only fucked if David doesn't get his shit together pronto. Oh, you don't say? Max Tack has been dispatched. Damn it. This has escalated far beyond a field test. Mm -hmm. That damn boy. We need to stop him before he makes matters even worse. No one can stop him now. I can think of one individual who can. Who might that be? Oh yeah, we forgot Adam Smasher. He's here already. Oh, he's right there. The field tests. The cyber skeleton was originally designated for him. Of course it is. Yeah. What are you afraid of getting caught? Because I know I sure as shit ain't. <laughs> Try. What the hell? Hey! Shit! No way! Just gonna leave us here, Mama! Oh, they're gonna pay. Hmm. He is mad at the world. Our sock is handling the rest. Code AS, pulling out. What? Wow. Oh. Max Tech pulling out. <laughs> Falco. Kiwi, huh? Huh? That two time bitch, I'll fucking kill her! Got you too, did he? <laughs> yep. Did tag his AV though. Mm. Everyone turns on you, some point or other. Yeah. Just figure, Faraday's long overdue to learn an important lesson. <laughs> yes, she gone. But they are going to whoa! Whoa. Oh, he's on top. Keep them on course for the dock. You will meet them there. I will meet them there. You must have realized by now that someone would have to take the fall for this colossal cluster. Oh shit. <laughs> Make sure that mangy fixer never makes it past the loading dock. Not a single step. Shit just flows downhill. Mm -hmm. It's a child's toy reliant on anti-grav trading wheels. Not even worth my time. Arasaka Tower. That's not what she meant, though. <laughs> no. There's no other way. Not for me. Faraday, it seems someone didn't follow the plan. Do you know what happens to dogs who have a habit of misbehaving? Is that a threat? They get put down. We have no further use for you if you're unable to provide data on the cyber skeleton. In this, you have failed your assignment. Oh, uh, hi. Okay. The cyber skeleton returned to you as promised. Oh! <laughs> Adam Smasher, hurry! Go on, kill the boy! Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck are you? I'm surprised you could string two words together. Likewise, Chum. Heard you went no Ganic, full Bork, so I gotta ask any brain left in that. Um. David? Drop my team! Can you really afford distractions now? <sighs> wow. 
what the f is happening. Beautiful image, but... Lucy. Damn. Oh, David. I didn't want any of this. This is the only way I could protect you from this damn city. Just too many I couldn't save before. My mom, Maine, and the others in our crew. Couldn't let that happen. Not to you too. You still have a dream to stick around for. Need you to see it through. That's my dream. Honestly, nothing else ever really mattered. Faraday's dead. And CPD's joined in on the fun. Settle in, get comfy. Come on, save these two. Sure, take your sweet time, gonk brain. <laughs> Falco, yeah? I need a favor. Glad you're back safe. For David's sake, I mean. <laughs> We're having a moment here! <gasps> oh no! Adam Smasher. No, fuck. Son of a <sighs> you have a set devastan? You can't win against this guy. No, you don't. <sighs> Damn, Falco! None leave the slaughterhouse. Not alive. Get distracted much. You think a special puzzle, Scrappy? Don't make me laugh. Was David's final request? If I turn around now, he dies for nothing. We already have our reward money. David wants us to split it. He also told me to tell you. Sorry. Wish we could go to the moon together. <laughs> I had some fun after all. You well, know. good for you. to go to the moon. Whoa, check this. I can feel the sun. So, well, Falco and Lucy. <laughs> Falco and Lucy, that's sort of what we predicted. <laughs> they were yeah. the only ones who were going to walk away from this alive. But there we go. That was the finale of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Kind of like proceeding or like it happened as we thought it would and ended the way that we thought it would. Still, one hell of a spectacle and. I got the emotions going for sure because damn like <laughs> I almost feel like like with the pacing of this series like so much happened 
in the span of 10 episodes and the characters went through so much and it, it's like a blink of an eye and it's like it's 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 over and there's there's nothing else they they could do and they found themselves in like the most fucked up absurd crazy big situation like when arasaka calls in adam smasher to finish things in the end like then you you know it it has like things they've gone off the rails <laughs> completely and and yeah that that was what happened and i i actually almost forgot about him until they sort of like te teed him up here in, in the end and they were like okay yeah you know who we have to call now mm -hmm. I was like oh it's gonna take a while no no he's already here because like that tech was actually meant for him and he is special because he 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 can seemingly handle like, he's more machine now than man um to, to quote uh obi-wan kenobi but un, un unkillable unbeatable at, at least i hope you have played cyberpunk uh, because of course you you come up against him uh, you go against them, but you come... Wow. English speaking. You meet him in, 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 at the end of the, the game, and the, that story as well. And you actually do get to defeat the fucker um, in one of the endings, at least, I think. It's been a while since I've played any of the original endings. Um, it, it, but anywho, he came in here and he was the one who took out David. Uh, but that wasn't really the most important thing to the story at all it's it, it was always david wanting to protect the people that he cared about and lucy also wanting to protect the person that she cared about cares about um in, in, in david and in the end like she she wasn't able to protect him from himself mm. and and she sort of knew it like she knew he was gonna get in that thing she knew he was gonna step out over that edge to protect her it's it's really like it's it's a it's a tragedy with sort of a happy footnote with, with lucy going to good yeah, that wasn't to, even really happy that was more like bittersweet in a way oh yeah yeah definitely definitely he gets up there it's like as he said like he for him it was just his dream was to make her dream come true and when she finally got up there got her dream fulfilled she saw david she saw like pre chromed up pre pre chromed david yeah and and he still had his innocence and um yeah yeah and then he disappeared and she just let the sun in and i took it as like she just let go of everything everything she's been through everything like she's just yeah leaving yeah. her <laughs> earthly bounds in a way and just She's had one hell of a life as well. Like we, we got her backstory with with like how she was used by Arasaka, yeah. as a like from a young, very young age as a kid, and then getting away and getting into this edge runner life, meeting David and someone that she started to care about, wanted him to live, but yeah, damn, can't be easy to to let go of it. But I, I guess this. If, if you want to move forward still in your life, there's not much else to do. She's going to live on the moon? I've, I've, I I don't know. Um, seems like it was sort of a touristy thing. She just got to go up there. Um, and then she went off course and... Had her moment. <sighs> had her moment, indeed. But Faraday, he, she died, thankfully. <laughs> Evaporated. Yeah, completely disintegrated um the same happened to a lot of people in, in here like every everyone from militech were following them and uh, people from arasaka involved except for that one boss lady who was just like yeah you're gonna take the fall for me shit flows downhill i'm, I'm out of here yeah and that's like that's that's almost like the worst part because it, it also feels like it's, it's very real in a way that um like the real sons of bitches they they never pay yeah exactly and it's like when it comes to like corporate world and like we've had so many scandals at least here in denmark where it's mm. like the what's it called the ceo of uh like the bank or something mm. like a huge scandal breaks out and they're just like unscathed <laughs> yeah they, they they are not even like they just they get a lot of money for uh like uh hey we're gonna 
terminate your contract and here's a lot of money as a yeah to be risk your I don't know it, I know it's called something when uh, in English when you are being bailout or no not, no, no, not a bailout it's, 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 it has a specific thing um, so when you are terminated by the job you mm. get like a severance package okay a severance yes a severance uh, yeah um, and they just got up like millions in a yeah yeah uh, yeah we call it like a, a golden handshake I don't know if it's called the same in English but they they got that and it's just like I think it's so disheartening to say the least yes so and to, just to see that it's the same exact same here like they're just gonna the rich and powerful come up with the... some weird excuse or something yeah for they, this and they, they 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 can afford to just walk away or just like pawn it off on on, on someone else and just be like, yeah, you be the figurehead for for, for this whole thing. Um, see it in, uh, I'm, I'm sure, like a lot in, of course, in politics as well, and um, where someone makes a mistake, politics wise, but they don't get to pay for that mistake. They just be like, oh no, like we'll just let it flow downstream to to this other person and and they'll pay for it and get fired and then we'll install a new one who can then take the blame if something else goes wrong like it, it's never like the really really high ups who, who gets to pay um and it's uh definitely the same in in night city which sucks but as you also said it's like it's uh it's sort of realistic even in a very unrealistic world or like it's unrealistic in, in the way like like how crazy it is like tech wise and yada yada um but that might even be a road that we're going to be heading down like humanity is like with technology but with like how humans are and the corporate hierarchies and structures and, and whatnot like doesn't matter if it's in this crazy sci-fi fantasy world or in the real world it's it's still kind of the same I thought for a second that maybe Becca was going to live, but no, no, she got Adam smashed. At least he had some fun fighting David. And yay. Good for you, Adam. I don't know what, what, what else there is to say. Like it's, it's sort of a, it's not an uplifting ending. It's not like we're, uh, you're we're sitting We're kind here. of expecting that. Cause like that's uh, this world. That's yeah. just what stories that come out of that. Yes, like again, even with the several well, multitude of endings that you can get in the game, like none of them are really happy, happy either. Like it's it's always kind of a sitting there with the feeling of, oh well, fuck. <laughs> and it's the same here. It really is. But they got the uh, Falco and Lucy got away when they got the pay. They got their payment. So they got out of there with some money. And that's, of course, how Lucy was able to get to the moon. And they got um, David's jacket or David's mom's jacket, which you can then get in the game. So <laughs> that, uh, yeah, makes sense then. But this was one one hell of a ride, like really high octane, like very, very well made um, with like just how much was going on on the screen and in the action sequences. Um, I definitely enjoyed that, even though the pacing at times almost felt too, it was just too much. <laughs> like it was, you, you felt overstimulated almost, uh, but definitely enjoyed it. Like I, I, I would love to see more stories in Night City. Just, I don't know if there's ever going to be any more expansions to the game or a sequel to the game or anything, but more like series or and something akin to that like there's this a bunch of stories to tell in this world and it's it's so well put together like it's it's uh really well like fully constructed world i feel like sorry i'm i'm just rambling on and on and on so uh, we should probably just <laughs> wrap it up unless there's anything you want to say nope. nope all right then just one last danish word of the day and then i'll do it and a pretty fitting word that comes to mind here is just tragedy it, it this story was sort of a, a tragic story for most of the characters involved so uh tragedy in danish is tragedy 
which is you see it spelled out there. It's it's pretty much the same, just pronounced way differently. Tragedy, tragedy. Yeah, another of those. What? Couple of. Another one of those with the the soft D. Uh, the yes, tragedy. Tragedy. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Guild means goat. Never mind. Um, yeah, tragedy in English, tragedy in Danish, and there we go. That'll do it for for this one for this reaction to the finale of Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Uh, thank you to those of you who've uh, been following us on this little journey, and we hope you're gonna stick around on the channel and watch some other stuff as well. Thanks again so much for watching and uh, see you as soon as possible. Bye. Bye.